Some people see me and think things like prejudice weaklings, fiending for a reason to put a hold on my street dreams. With textbooks full of Confederate teachings that put me in a system when that septic system is leaking. They tell me when to speak, then interrupt when I'm speaking. While things going on is interrupting my sleeping. Some things seem strange when I'm thinking of ways to keep these weirdo strangers from creeping. It's like a hood on my coat to tell me don't pay attention to the rain, yet it rains till I float. The intention in my brain makes me smoke so the pain don't remain, but it drains to my throat. I pray, but my vocals won't allow me to say what I want to. I want to clip my veins before they choke me. But like a poker game, I leave broke. See, life seems strange, but it ain't no joke, G. Because this rhythm derives from live sequence. I lost my mind trying to find my soul sequence. My heart rate made the beat find the pieces to solve the wildest puzzle driving me speechless. Because time keeps us blinded by weakness. Truth is timeless, so I take time to speak it. I use my mind to devise the right speech, and I use my heart to define the right beat, like a timekeeper. Because there are nobody's tracks with mine that lead here from a time where I was wondering whether to rhyme or speak facts for the typical mime. A typical life is fine, but I chose the difficult kind. Because I was doing what I needed to get by. Then I put that hustle on the table to get what's mine. There are those that want to label me and stick me beside. But can't none of them faze me because I remain wise. I was 19 when I wrote that. Since then, it's simply been inspiration coming from ex like these experiences of, of, of ephemeral and that idea, to my understanding, came from a medical term that was used to diagnose a short period of time in which you would experience a sickness. So for me, it told me that things would get better very quickly. And I adapted that to things like graffiti art with the intention of knowing that I paint this piece and tomorrow it could be gone. But for that moment, it was there to inspire these new ideas, to inspire communication amongst a community of artists that typically didn't have a voice otherwise. That led me to create programs like Art Not Crime, where we would teach fine art through the lens of street art and graffiti. And this was in a time where you could get locked up simply for painting in Portland. For me, you know, I wasn't about to go to jail as a teenager because I had a future and it wasn't being in this system. It was devising and creating a system that worked for myself. So shortly after high school, I decided that I would take advantage of all of the ephemeral experiences that I had to learn and to grow and to create more and more because I never wanted to get stuck in one idea, because to me, an idea is simply like throwing a rock into a pond, creating a series of ripples. But eventually, those ripples from that rock start to dissipate. And for me, that's stagnant. And I'm not cool with comfort, because I'm always on to the next thing. Which led me to a very important underground gallery. Me and a couple friends got together, randomly found a warehouse on the eighth floor, the very top of a building. And we called this place High Top because we felt like we were on top of the world at that moment. And we were free to create whatever we wanted to in that space. And it became a platform for artists just like us to then communicate however they felt like it was necessary. That led to another experience that was very important here in Portland called service. And this space essentially was a very expensive, despite us not having the money and could not afford it, space that we transformed into another platform for our community of artists to create 
any idea that they had on their, on their mind. And so, I guess in closing, if there are any ideas that are worth spreading, I designed this set so that these ideas will be ones that we would not end up forgetting. My name is D'Angelo Reigns. I'm going to sign my art. Thank you. Yeah.